So, um, yeah, so we're going to make this. We're making this flocked fl Christmas wreath with this, hey Leslie, with this really cute light up Santa. Isn't that cute? I don't know if you guys can see it lighten up, but um, if I turn off my lights, you can see it. But can you see? Isn't that cute? Cute, cute, cute. Hey, Dora. So, I am going to, hey, Cindy. Hello, hello, hello. I'm back in the hive for the first time in a couple weeks. So, welcome, welcome. So, you know when you get these, Amanda. Hey, girl, how are you? I haven't talked to you in a long time. Um, you know, you have to fluff these out because they come pretty flat. I don't know if you guys can even see like how flat that looks. Thank you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, please bless my page. Yes, I'm back. It's been a little crazy, but I'm back. So you really have to, it's just like a Christmas tree when you get these. Um, you really have to open it up and fluff everything and um, make it look pretty. Had a good time with my friend Kathy last Friday. We went and did some shopping at some wholesale places in Lancaster. So, thanks, Pat. Hey, Ann, how are you? Hey, Sue Ann. I know it was a little crazy. So, all right. So I'm that just about. Sound good. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, just said that doesn't sound good. All right. So we're just going to keep fluffing. And make this look nice all over the place. And I will, Amanda, I will definitely give you a call. All right. I know we will always have fun. Okay. So I did a lot of the fluffing before we came on here because I thought you guys don't need to see me fluff this whole thing. But if you don't fluff it, it's really flat and lifeless. And I mean, it's a mess. So. You really do want a good job of fluffing it. Now, I have this all over me. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys something. Um, the wreath came from um, Joann's last year at the end of the year. Hey, Peggy. So, I, I saw this on another post. I'm not going to take um, credit for it. And I was like, I have to get that. Hey, Bruno from Corkland, Ireland. Look at this. It's a little bee, right? It's called the Crumble Bumble Bee. Okay, look, you guys. See, all, I don't know if you guys can see all this mess on my table. Oh, my gosh. This is like the best thing ever. It cleans up all this little mess. All right, look how cool that is. Like glitter and all this kind of stuff, you know, that we always get all over our tables. CT! Um, that is the coolest thing since sliced bread. You've got to look at these. It's on, it's on Amazon. I have an affiliate link because it is so cool. If you guys did not check out CT's um, video on um, his Halloween decorations on his house, you guys have got to check it out. It is awesome, CT. <laughs> it is awesome. It is so cool. I mean, when I say CT goes all out for decorating for Halloween, it is so cool. I mean, inside, outside, all over over the place okay so normally on a I know isn't it awesome they have it in um, a ladybug I think a turtle and the bee so of course I had to get the bee hey Jerry hey Maggie so um, normally I did share that video CT because I just thought it was so cool normally when I do my wreath I put the sign on pretty much last but um, when, you, when I'm doing this, I kind of want to put this on first. And like I said, this lights up. It's really, really cool. So, and I kind of want to position him over here. So what I did, and it's kind of styrofoam, I put a pipe cleaner down here, and then it had this little wire there, so I put one there, and I put one up there. So we're just going to pop this battery pack down underneath. And then I'm going to bring the um, pipe cleaner down. Actually, I'm going to bring this one up here. Mm 
Yeah, CT, that was awesome. I love that. That was so cool. <laughs> I shared it, but it was the coolest thing. I mean, he decorated inside and outside, and it was so cool. He has the music, you know, where you turn to a certain radio station, and, um, you know, there's the music to his house and stuff. It was really awesome. Hey, Nance! Nancy, what a cool vacation you had, girlfriend. You were on, like, what, a five- or six-week vacation over to Europe. You were all over. Hey, T-Shell. Okay. Let me bring this up a little bit so you're not seeing. All right, so I'm just attaching it in a couple different places. And like I said, I'm going to pop that battery pack down underneath. And get that settled. <clears throat> so how have you guys been? It's been a while since I've seen you guys. All right. So then what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to take the battery pack and I'm going to see it turn. There's the on off switch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of zip ties and zip tie the battery pack in two places so that it won't slip around okay because you don't want that to fall off hey Bev okay I love these flocked wreaths but man did they shed all over the place Okay, and I'm going to really get that as tight as I can get it. And then cut that off. Okay. So that's on there pretty good. It's not going to go anywhere. Alright, and then you can still get to that. So, so there's my little Santa. I fucked the flockings all over him. Okay, so since he had burlap on his hat, what I wanted to do, and look at this mess again. This burl, this uh, I love it. I love this guy. I'm telling you, I'm like, I've got to show this. Like I said, it wasn't my idea. I saw it on another site. I'm gonna be doing this all night long, you guys. But isn't this just the coolest thing? So cool. I love it. All right. So I took some burlap and I cut it. You didn't get one? I don't know. Oh, it does? I'm going to have to try that. All right, so I took some um, red burlap, and I cut it to 20 inches. And so I'm just going to ruffle it up. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello. All right. And we're going to place it periodically. And we're going to use the um, pine as our twist ties. Okay? I'm going to place that around. <clears throat> I put an, a link up further. Let me um, see if I can put it in here again. It is just the cutest thing. Right, hold on. Yeah, I got it off of Amazon, but I just thought it was so stinking cute. But I think they get it's called the crumb crumby bumblebee. It comes in um, a bee, a um, ladybug, and something else. So, all right. So we're gonna put these here and there. And like I said, I cut these to twenty inches. Hey, Mary Ellen, how are you? And we're just using the pine as our ties. Okay, so it really kind of matches with the burlap on his hat. Yeah, it's on Amazon, yep. one down here hey 
Deborah, how are you? Yeah, like I said, it wasn't my idea. I saw it on another site and I was like, that is just too cool. I'll have to try that hairspray idea because that was, um, this is a mess. I have it all over my clothes and everything. It is a mess. The burlap is, um, let me see, it's about five inches wide. The Santa, um, I got them from my wholesaler. I do have four more. Um, I was going to put it in my Etsy shop before I got here, but I forgot. I was didn't have enough time, so I will put them in my Etsy shop when I get done. But aren't they cute? He's so cute. But I'll turn my light off and so when I'm done so you can see him because he lights up. Hey, Sandra, how are you? I don't see anything, Kathy. Oh, okay. All right. So, one more up here. Good to see you guys, too. I know, it's been a little crazy. All right, so then we'll put another... Yes, I did. I think the same thing happened to Kali what ha is what happened to me. Exact same thing. So, it's crazy. Facebook is just, they're insane. So, I don't know what's going on there. I lost mine for four days, so I don't know um, how long she's been off now. Not yet. You guys need to tell me what you want to be named. I need to figure that out. I just totally messed that up. We were trying to figure out a name for the my group members. And um, I forget what we came up with. The Buzzettes, the Stingers. Yeah, Facebook is crazy. red really makes it pop doesn't it no all they said was that I broke Facebook policies um, but I really think I mean I don't know for sure um, I appealed it and um, they you know all of a sudden let me back on was from Thursday well, that makes sense. They shut me down on Saturday night, and they um, opened me back up, was it Thursday or Friday? So, I don't know. But I appealed it, and then um, they let me get back on. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, please bless my page. I, will, I was telling everyone the other day that I will be doing um, an email list to try to get everyone's email just in case it happens again so I have a way to get in touch with people but I am going to be concentrating a lot more on um, a lot more on um, YouTube so if you don't find me here look for me on YouTube and go subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon there because that will tell you when I'm live so make sure you do that I got another one here the honey oh I like that Sandra I like the honeys I like that okay I think I need another um, roll of this I didn't think that this would take as much, but I'm adding more than I thought I would, I guess, but that's okay. 
All right, so let me go grab a little bit more of that. I thought I grabbed another roll, but I guess I didn't. Deborah, well, thanks for being here. All right, we only need like one or two more. No, I didn't make it. I bought it at my wholesaler. I have them. I'm going to be putting them in my Etsy store. I meant to do it before I got on here, but I didn't get a chance, so... So what has everyone been up to? I feel like I've missed you guys. It's been so long. All right, so we only needed one more. Pretty much, I think. I think, I think, I think. Yes, I am definitely going to YouTube. That's for sure. All right, so I think that's good. So that's what I did. I added... Um, the burlap to kind of bring out the red and so man, I have this flock stuff all over me the honeybees or the queen bees I like it I like it now I was also thinking of doing these but I don't know let's see let's see what we like better okay and let's get rid of this mess again <laughs> stuff. I'm really going to dry that hairspray stuff because it is everywhere. I mean, I'm just covered in it. Okay. So, I have a couple ribbons here. And I don't know. I'm trying to decide if I want to do ribbon tails. Hello from Ohio. Or if I want to do ribbon flowers. Let's do 13 inches. Let's get this straight. <laughs> Sandra, I would have loved, I, you have to, <laughs> you have to post a picture of it. You are too funny, girlfriend. Oh, you are so funny. Oh, my goodness. Um, the wreath base came from Joanne's last year. <laughs> Constipated Hulk. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. You had that bad, <laughs> that bad of a storm. That is too funny. Oh, my goodness. You are hysterical. All right, let's see if we want to do ribbon tails or what we want to do. Or maybe we just want to do a bow. I don't know. Nine and a half hours. That's a long time. Whoops. You have to post it in the group because that is too funny. All right, so I really liked this plaid, but I don't know. It's not the right red, so I don't think we're going to use that. But I do like these two. So let's just see what we think. But I know we're going to make a bow, so maybe we'll just make a bow and go from there. I'm liking that. Okay. Well, let's make Let's make some bows. Look at that. I like that. Yes, 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 yes. All right, let's make some bows. You are too funny, girl. Um, I'm trying to figure out where I can put this so it doesn't shed everywhere. Because, look, I have this stuff all over me. Everywhere. 
Okay. Put that there for now. I like that just the way it is even. Whew. All right. I look like I've been in the snow. Oh, I love those ribbon flowers. I, like I said, I made one. I was thinking about putting it on. <laughs> I love this little bee. Okay, let's make some bows. And I brought a pro bow because I haven't done that in a while. The queen bees. Yes, I definitely like that. All right, we are going to use the pro a bow. <laughs> I look like I've been snowed out in the snow. Oh my gosh. Oh, that sounds fun. Those. Maybe I'll bring it in one. I think I'm going to bring them in one because I don't want huge bows on this. I don't want them to cover the whole thing. I, it might. I know. I have them everywhere. I'm going to bring it into the, um, <laughs> bring it everywhere. I think it's probably getting full. <laughs> it does work a little bit. But I think it's getting full. <laughs> you should see my pants. I have black pants on. It is everywhere. Okay. Alrighty. Let's get making a bow. Gonna use, whoops, two pieces of wire. Hey, Bonnie. I know it's been forever since I made a bow, right? Make a bow. Let's make a bow. Okay, so I've cut two pieces about, I don't know, 28, 29 inches. Hey, Johnny, how are you? Okay, put them up there. All right, then we're going to use a little bit of this red. And we're going to use a little bit of the tan. I know it does. Yeah. Hey, Pat. I'm doing good. How are you? And then we're going to use this. Oh, heck yeah. All right. So, let's get started. Now you guys know I always do my bows wonky because I'm a wonky kind of girl. I do my stuff differently. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit. Yes. Hey, Terry Lynn. How are you? Oh, now I'm walking you over. Ugh. Sorry, guys. Hope I'm not making you dizzy. My thing does not want to stay up. Trying to get you guys a better view, but it's not working. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I should have just left it the way it was. All right. Ugh. That's awful. Sorry, guys. This stupid thing is not wanting to work. All right. Good enough. I'm going to leave it alone. You're getting ready for your group tonight. The pro bow and the easy bow. There's a big difference between the pro bow and the easy bow. The easy bow is just this little contraption. The pro bow has fingers. I could not learn. <laughs> sorry, I know, Terry. Sorry, I didn't I didn't mean, mean to make you drunk, girlfriend. Um, <laughs> the 
this thing does not want to move the right way when I want to move it. Um, I like the Pro, when I was first learning, I could not learn on the Pro Bow, or the Easy Bow. I just couldn't do it. I don't know why. I just couldn't do it. I got the Pro Bow, and I, that was it. I got it down. So, it, maybe it was just me. I don't know, but um, I could learn it on there. 22 Reese, that's amazing, Debbie. Way to go. Now, Terry, I know you, this is not the Terry bow. This is my version of a bunch of bows. It's not the Terry bow, so forgive me if I totally screw it up, but this is kind of my version of how I do things. <laughs> so, so it's not really the Terry bow, but um, oh no, you don't need to be intimidated. I love this thing. All right, so this is how I start it. I know no one else starts it that way, but I'm weird. I do things differently. So what I do is I wrap the first one around it, and I just, and you don't want to pull it too tight. And I just wrap it, and then I take the first wire. The first wire is basically just to get you started. That's all the first wire is. And then I wrap this around. Sandra, you are funny. You're on a roll tonight, girlfriend. Okay, then you take this. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit so you don't have to see all my mess that's here. Okay, then you take this top wire and you wrap it clockwise around the top peg. I know. I like the Easy Bow too, but I can use the Easy Bow now. But when I first started, I could not use the Easy Bow to save my life. Hey, Deborah. All right, so then what I do is I take and I dovetail the other end. Okay, and then I put them up like that. Now, some people call this... Um, CT, are you still on here? Can you put a link to your um, the Halloween video? Some people call this the boyfriend wire. Some people... I call it the helping hand wire. Now, basically... <laughs> You're funny. Um, basically, it's to help you hold your ribbon onto the Pro Bow. That's all it is. So I call it the helping hand wire. So now what you do is you take it. You see the, the diff, like the hole right there. You take it and you um, put it in the middle and you pull it to the right side and then you pull it to the back and then you twist. CT is going to. Um, He'll post a link here. Thanks, CT. And then you take your second wire. I'm getting hot under all these lights. Okay. And I dovetail the end. And then you, I measure it out to the peg here. And then I gather it together. That wasn't a very good gather. Yeah, you can do two, anything with two hands, right, Kathy? And then I hold it here now, and then I wrap it around this peg, and then gather it together, twist, and then wrap it around that peg, and twist. There you go. You guys have to watch CT's video, because it is amazing. Thanks, CT. Okay, now I'm not going to use this. I'm done with this ribbon, so I'm going to cut that off. I know, right? It's crazy. It's awesome. Okay, and then I'm going to switch to the next ribbon. That's why I said it is the cool. Like, I don't know how you put all that stuff out. Like, it must take you two weeks to put it all out and then two weeks to put it all back. And then you do it all over again for Christmas, right? I can't wait to see what he does for Christmas. All right, then I'm going to take the next ribbon. You were... That's awesome, Debbie. Oh, thanks, Sandra. Yeah, I love making those things. And do the same thing. Basically, you just, once you get this whole thing down, you do the same thing over and over and over again. You just pinch, twist, and then put it onto the peg. So what you do is you kind of turn your ribbon up, you gather it together, 
pinch it, twist, and then tie it off. Yeah, tell Kevin I said hi, CT. Okay, so there's the first three, right? And don't worry about these tails not being the same length. I like to make them a little long, so you can always, you know, change the sizes once you get it on the wreath. Then I'm going to come back to the red again. And do the same thing with the red. So measure it out gather it together. Now if you can't hold the ribbon here, you can tie it off here as well. But I just like to hold it wrapped around that peg. He's watching a scary movie. <laughs> Twist. Wrap it around this peg. Gather it together and tie it off. So what I love about the Pro Bow is it basically it makes the bow for you. Like you don't have to do it. It really makes it for you. So now we're done with all the one and a half inch ribbons. I'm going to put that away. Okay. But we're probably going to use it again because I'm probably going to make more than one bow. Oh, okay. All right. That's cool, Debbie. signed up to do one craft show this week, this year. I don't know. I just didn't have it in me this year to do any more than one. Okay. So then we're going to use these two. Merry Christmas. And the berry one. Okay. And I'm going to pull these two together. Dovetail the ends. Okay. I'm going to make this tail a little longer. Put that up there. I am going to tie this one off. <clears throat> All right. And then. I'm going to wrap this around the peg. Two thousand people? Wow. That's amazing. That would be overwhelming. You better be taking a lot of wreaths. So again, you just kind of gather it together and then twist and wrap it around that peg. Now see, I didn't tie that off and it's still holding it. So I don't have to hold that with my hand. So gathering it together and twist and then wrapping it around there, gathering it together. And twist. You brought 40 in. That's pretty good. I'd be happy with that. And twist. Alright. Then we're going to tie this one off because we're done. Twist and tie it off. All right. Okay. All right. So now what I do, and I probably do this differently as well, is I take the two helping hand wires and I twist those together.
just makes it a little stronger I think okay, cut those off the extras that's amazing and then I take this off of here now when you untwist this you want to put your finger in there and make sure that you get that all off of that peg and then take it off of the bottom there and then pull that as tight as you can get it and then twist those two together hey Joanne how are you thank you so much I appreciate it. Yep, if you don't already subscribe to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my channel. And please like and follow. <laughs> it's only because you broke your arm that you can't keep up with me, girlfriend. Alright, so there's the first bow. So we're going to go ahead and fluff this out. Get my handy dandy fluff box here. Okay, so what I do is I put it on the hook and then stand it up and then wrap this one around the peg. And we're going to put the tails down here. I'm going to pull this out. And I didn't want a huge bow, that's why I made it on the innermost row because I didn't want it to be massive and overtake the wreath. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. I made the fluff box. Yes, ma'am, I made it. It was very easy. Hey, is it Sanda? Welcome. Glad you're here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are just fluffing out our bow here. I just made it on my Provo the Hand, so I will probably be making another one. Thank you. Okay, get this one down there. All right. Okay, let's get this one on the wreath and see how we like it. Yes, 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 yes. I know, isn't it pretty? That came from um, either Sam's or Costco. Okay. All right. Okay, so I'm thinking put this one down here and then we might make two more see what we think hello Andy welcome welcome Just trying to find my wire I just fed through there oh, there it is okay Judy, how are you? Welcome, first timers. So glad you're here. Okay, 
so that's our first bow. And those we're probably going to cut. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Probably make another small one and then we will make maybe a bigger one for over here on the side. I think that's what we'll do. Okay. Bring this down here. Okay. You guys think so far? You liking that? So we got that small bow there. And then so what I'm thinking is another small bow up at the top and then a bigger bow right here. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, well, this ribbon doesn't really fray, so I don't think I need... I don't have a lighter here. <laughs> okay, so there is that one. I'm thinking that's what we're going to do. All right, let's make two more bows. Okay. <clears throat> Whew. That is a mess. Yep, got to get my bee out again. It's a mess. Yeah, I will have to, I'll put the other four in my shop when we get done here. Um, the Santas. I have four more left if you guys are interested in the Santas. Okay, so let's make another small bow, just like that one. And then we will um, add, whew, I have this stuff everywhere. Oh, okay, I'll fix it. Thank you. Hey, Debbie, how are you? All right, so we got the red, the tan, and this one. I know, the stinking camera stand. I got to do something different with that, but let's see. All right, guys, close your eyes. doesn't want to close your eyes Ooh. now I'm gonna try this there we go all right that's a little better all right sorry guys okay that's better Whew. okay you can open your eyes again Bring you guys in. Whew, sorry about that. Go, I know that was a ride, huh? I'm gonna have to. Um, I'm gonna have to fix that. That's gonna drive me crazy. All right, Carolyn. Thanks for stopping in. All right. So again, we're gonna cut two of the. Is that eight o'clock already? Holy cow! Two pieces of wire. Yeah, that's better. I got to do something with that. All right. Two pieces of wire, about 28 to 30 inches. I don't know. I don't really measure them. All right. We're going to get our first piece. All right. We're going to put that around our... Hello, Gail. How are you? We're going to grab one piece of wire wrap it around those two right there and you don't want it tight 
because you don't want it to pull that peg in there. Yeah. Yeah, the earth moved, definitely. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> okay. And then take the top wire and wrap it around your top peg. Take the bottom wire and wrap it around that little nail that's down there. Okay. And then cut that one off. If you're interested in my group, we meet on Tuesday nights. And we have lots of fun. Sanders in my group. Um, oh, good, Gail. Are you, have you been here before? All right. Oh, I forgot my helping hand wire. Okay, so the helping hand wire goes through here to the right and then you bring it to the back and tie it off okay oh I'm not good on either of those Sandra I gotta work on those myself all right to there and then gather it now I, that's one thing I have to work on, but right now I'm concentrating on YouTube. So if you don't, um, if you aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'm going to post it here and please go and subscribe and hit the little bell icon. Where's my mouse? <laughs> Thanks, Sandra. We do have fun, I think, anyway. <laughs> Here is my YouTube channel. So go and subscribe. Um, yeah, subscribe and hit the little bell icon. When you hit the little bell icon, oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think I see you unless you comment. That's I thought it was spliced right there. Okay. Well, I'm glad you finally commented. All right. And I'm going to use this. Etsy. Um, there, there's tw a 20 cent fee when you list stuff. And then I think they take a, I don't know, five or six percent when you sell, but they take a percent. They take a percentage on everything. I think it ends up to be no. It's more like ten to twelve percent they take. So I'm going to put that in there between the two pegs. I'm going to hold it there. I'm going to wrap it around that peg. It's not working. Oh, you know what? A lot of times it doesn't work until after the live. So wait until, copy it and paste it, um, but if you copy it and paste it into the browser, it should work. Try it again for me, Cheryl, and let me know, because that should be working. I, tr I did check it um, earlier to make sure it worked. Casey! Casey, can you check my... Um, my uh, YouTube link and make sure it works. I just I just um, put it on there. It should work. No, it's not working. Yes, I do make tree topper bows. Yep. Thank you, Rita. Casey will check it out for me and tell me if it's working or not. It should be working. I don't know why it wouldn't be. Oh, CT said it worked. Thanks, CT. Oh, I need to do the red one again. Not paying attention, y'all.
Yeah, I don't know why, because I know I double-checked it to make sure. Oh, you have to be on your computer, not on your phone? Okay. Casey's the uh, computer guru. She knows a lot. All right, so I'm adding that red again. And then twisting. Oh, good. Yay! Yeah, and make sure you subscribe and also hit the little bell icon because the little bell icon will um, take you, when I'm live, it'll take you directly to my live. When I'm live on YouTube. Okay, all right, now we're going here. All right, so we're going to use these two together again. there. Tie it off. <clears throat> Pull the rip out. I was supposed to go to the Halloween parade tonight in our town, but I wasn't feeling good yesterday or today, so I thought, you know what, I don't want to go and stand out there in the cold and end up getting sicker than I already am because my luck I will feel even worse tomorrow <laughs> if I do that so I was like you know what I'm just going to stay home because I get sick at the drop of a hat I don't know if anyone else is that way but I am I just really I don't know I'm susceptible to everything so one of your reasons you gather, twist, and then put it on the loop. Gather, twist on the loop. Gather, twist, put it on the loop. Gather. Twist. All right. And I'm going to tie it off. Oh, board's moving here. You really want to try and keep everything straight when you do that. And like I said, I twist mine together. You are too, Maggie. I know. It's crazy. It really is. I just get sick at the drop of a hat. So, and it lingers forever, so, <laughs> like, nope, I'm just going to wait. Oh, I know. I get, but you know what, Kathy? I have Instagram. <laughs> well, see, maybe you can teach me, Sandra. I just, I need to concentrate on one thing at a time and get that thing down pat, you know? And right now, I'm really trying to concentrate on YouTube, but I'm getting there. I know, Casey. You got to teach me, girl. Take that. I do. I have an awful immune system. I really do. Which, guys, okay. So, speaking of YouTube, Lori, I'm a hardworking mom. I just took her um, YouTube course. And if you guys want to start a YouTube... Oh, that is wonky. If you guys want to start a YouTube channel or have a YouTube channel, you need to take her course. She's going to be teaching and get I think she said in December um, so I will have to put a link here to her course because it's an amazing amazing course you will learn everything you can think of from her so it's a really good course all right Okay, so let me make that last bow, my wonky bow here. Now I'm going to move my pegs out one because I want my 
next bow to be bigger, the one in the middle. going again. <clears throat> yeah, she is amazing. She really is. She's awesome. Oh, absolutely, Sandra. Absolutely. I have an affiliate link for her course, so I will give it to you. Um, you will not be disappointed. She is awesome. Yeah, I mean, YouTube is universal, so it, that would work for anyone. Doesn't matter where you are. Her iTunes or YouTube? <laughs> American Pickers. Are they picking anything good, Kathy? Okay, so I'm going to twist that around. Um, this is 22 gauge wire. If I use 26 gauge, I break it. So I use, um, I knew what you meant, Bev. I use 22 gauge. Ooh, all these lights, I am like sweating to death here. All right, cut this one off. Oh, I put um, masking tape on them, and that helps them stay in there a little better. So they don't slide around. And I made bigger pegs because I like them a little taller. Oh, forgot my helping hand wire again. Okay, I'm going to put it right through the center there and to the right. And then bring it to the back and then tie it off. And when you tie it off each time, you only want to twist it one time. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I always, I modify everything, CT. I'm weird. <laughs> I really do. I like to modify things the way I like them. Because, I don't know, I just, I think the other ones were so short. Um, I like to just make them a little, a little longer. So, all right, this is my last bow, so I am going to take these out now. Hey, Nancy, how are you? Where are you from in Virginia? Okay. Last two or one and a half inch here. And this ribbon is from Sam's Club also this year. Watch these <laughs> wires that you don't... Oh, I need that red again. Darn it, I'm just... I keep forgetting that I used that one twice. Oh, well. I'll just use this one twice. I'll just keep going. Hey, Pittsburgh! My husband is from North Hills. I messed up, so I'm just going to use this one um, for the other one. Thank you, Sandy. I'm glad you like me. All right. So I'm just changing this one up a little bit, but that's okay. It's all right. There's no rules in anything. 
Well, I'm glad you finally did, Nancy. Hey, Kelly. Okay. Literally, it looks like snow threw up all over me. I have it everywhere. Not far from you? Yeah. It's a nice area, North Hills. And South Hills, really. Okay, so I'm going to put these two together and I'm going to pull them together at the same time. Hey, Kimberly. All right. Um, yeah, well, this is kind of my version of the Terry Bow, Chateau Bow. Um, yeah, I've done them in the group. I'll have to do them again, Sandra. I haven't done bows in the group in a while. Yeah, it's just a different style of bow. Yeah, it's just a different way you make bows. I can definitely show you guys in the group what the different bows are. Okay. Yep. Yeah, if you go back in the group, I think I've, I know I've made the Chateau bow and the Terry bow. Um, it should be under the videos. But we can definitely do that again. No problem. I know we need to do a tree topper bow. That's for sure. I haven't done one of those in there. So I'm just pulling them together, making sure they stay together. And just gathering. Hey, Kathy, how are you? And twisting. And then wrapping it around that peg. Yep. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely going to do that. Yeah. And twist. Maybe I'll do that Thursday night, Renee. Okay, gather it. Oops, and twist. Well, it helps you. But it helps when you've been doing it for a couple years. <laughs> but trust me, it wasn't so easy when I first started. So it does, um, it does get a lot easier. Okay, and then you want to pull that as tight as you can get it. And then tie them off. Yeah, today I did a, um, a YouTube showing all of the um, glitter ornaments that I've made lately, which I love doing. So that's been fun because I got a um, Cricut and that is so much fun to use. How many of you guys have a Cricut or a Pro or a um, Silhouette or something like that? Okay, let me cut this off. That's that tail be long. Okay, I'm going to pull that off. Get the easy bow maker. Oh, sure. Would love to. Oh, I love the Cricut. I am just having so much fun with it. No, Deborah. Nope. Nope. You can do it. What? Whatever you want. Oh, thanks, Renee. Yeah. Remind me before I get off of here to grab the ornaments, and I'll show you. For those who didn't see it, Darlene, did you get the code I gave you? I sent you the code.
Okay, so the easiest way to get your bow off of here is pull the center peg off first, and then your bow will just come right off. Okay. Get rid of my pegs. Do you need the cricket to make your sign? Um Which sign? Oops. Oops, I did it the wrong way. That would not be good. <coughs> okay, good. Alright, so this is the smaller bow we did earlier. Um, I did that. I did show it them in my group how to make them. But I have the video like I showed the actual ornaments, like not how to make them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't heard of that. I um I I love the cricket though. I really, really do. It's so much fun to use. Thanks, Barbara. Okay, I'll rip this around. And the um, fluff box really helps you to really, you know, don't be afraid to really yank on that bow and get it the way you want it. Get the loops where you want them. Get everything the way you want them. coming down here. And you really want to get your hands in there and open up those loops too. Yes, I did, Darlene. I did. Yep. I did. I painted it. Just kind of maneuver these loops however you want them. Okay, let's take that off. Alright, let's get this out of the way. Get my other bow that jumped off the table. Okay. Hey, Leah. Okay, so this was a small bow. This is the small bow, and this is the big bow. So, I'm going to take the other small bow and put that one up here by his head. Oop, let me get you guys zoomed out again. 
I want it so I don't cover his head. Okay, get that tucked in there. All right. Okay. All right, and then this is the bigger bow. This is why I didn't put the tails on because I knew I was going to add all these bows and I didn't want to add tails and then, um, hey Fran, how are you? some long tails coming down this way. Long tails coming down this way. Okay, bring some tails over here. Bring these here. Bring these over here. So you can really kind of move your stuff around. Have them the way you want them. And then if you think you need tails other places, you can add them. Alright. So, there he is. What do you think? And then I do have these little balls I was thinking of adding into the center of the bows, too. Just kind of putting them right in there. But I don't even know if we need them. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Alright, let's bring you guys out again. See what you think. Okay. Alright. What do you guys think? Do you think we need the uh, 